All right, guys, we're going to be creating this today. It's the Billboard Top 100 using Microsoft Excel. First thing we're going to do is save our document here on the top, give it a title. Let's call this one Billboard Top 100. All right, let's get started. We're going to do this Billboard Top 100 assignment in the Google Classroom. The first thing that you can do is click on these images and then right click on them and let's save all these images onto your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and save them all. Actually, I already have them all saved here on my desktop. You would save them in your folder. Okay, so that's what you would do first. And our goal is to get this assignment to look like this using Excel. So I went ahead and opened up an, ex an example here from the website and I put that on half my screen and I have my online version of Excel here on the other. So we're not going to do this part here, the hot 100. We'll just leave that part out for today. So the first thing we're going to do is type out in all caps. Oops, sorry. First thing we're going to do is type out in all caps this week and we're going to go ahead and take several of these cells for this number one and we're going to color that a black. Oops, I was changing the font. Let's keep that on automatic and change the color here to black. And actually, we're going to go all the way down. We want to try to keep this onto one page and fill that all up with black. There we go. I don't know what happened there. I think it's a different color because I have that line. All right, so now what we're going to do here is I guess we can merge these and we'll put a number one change the ink color to white we'll put a number one now we're going to center this up here using this one this one will go ahead and put it there in the center and we're gonna make it bigger okay and we want the font to look similar to that let's go with the Arial black right there did I do it yes Arial black okay now for these images on the website you can simply copy and you can click paste here or paste right here okay or press control V some students were having trouble with that but it seems to be working here on my end Okay, then we've got heat waves and we've got that little symbol. So to insert those symbols, we're going to go to insert. Um, I'm looking for pictures and sometimes it doesn't show up unless you go to full screen. Pictures, this device, and I'm looking for that little up arrow. Okay, it's really big, but we'll make it smaller here. Much smaller. Right there, and let me go back to half screen. All right, now we're going to type out heat waves. And we, if it's too far apart, we can always bring our column in. And let's type out heat waves, glass animals. By the way, I haven't heard any of these songs. And we're going to put heat wave as that aerial black bold and leave glass animals like that. Now over here, we've got a little plus symbol, which I also included. So let's add the plus insert pictures, this device, gray plus. And I want it about right there. And then we have a black star. So let me add that. Insert picture, 
this device black star, make that smaller, put that in its place. And we'll go ahead and line those up with the columns, go back to half screen here. And then we just have some numbers. And by the way, this column is going to be all gray. So let's go ahead and make that one gray. It's a real light gray. All right, then we've got the number two here. We can merge those like we did over here and center it. And we're going to put the number two and we will again make it the area black and we'll make the font size about a size 18 and this one is also 18 so that's good and we've got the number one here so we'll merge that type out one center it Arial black size 18 and then something looks funny why doesn't it look like this Arial black oh, okay hmm what am I doing right or wrong there we go moving on now we just have one more here that says 59 I'll merge those center it Make it Arial Black, size 18, and I'll type out 59. All right, let me just change the font. It's being a little funny, a little buggy. It doesn't want to change with me. Let me change it to another font and then I'll change it back. That worked. All right, above at the top, this is going to be a little bit wider and we'll center that. And this is going to be, I'm going to make it a little smaller so you can see it all on one page there. This is going to be a dark blue. I want it darker, so I'm going to come here and go here. Yeah, that's the kind of blue I'm looking for. I'm going to change this font to the color white. And then up here we have what says award next to above the star. It says in all caps award last week. Peak poll and weeks on chart. All right, we're going to change all that to white font and center it there. And we're going to wrap text and center it there too. Okay, so now it's starting to come alive. We also have this column that's gray, real light gray. There we go. And now this one's all done with the little line under it. So I'm going to go to my borders and I'm going to go to border color and I'm going to change it to a gray and I'm going to click my borders tool and that made the gray line there now. And so the album covers, you can just copy image and paste okay and what I'm gonna do these ones are smaller what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on fast motion and just go ahead and complete it here so just uh, maybe I'll put some music on and you can just follow along with me in fast motion <laughs> 